Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Shell Cordovan Bloom. And as you can see on this wallet here, this is my wallet from Ashland Leather that I actually haven't touched in about a month. And this is in Amaretto Shell Cordovan. This is actually Phil at Ashland Leather. This is his favorite color of shell. And you can't tell on the outside, but it's a gorgeous like medium orangey warm brown color. What's going on here is we have a lot of bloom, and bloom is what happens when the waxes in Shell Cordovan migrates to the surface and exposes itself. So what you want to do in a case like this is buff it out. You could wipe it off, and you can get it on your thumb. You can see here, you can see here the oil, the waxes came off onto my thumb, and it just kind of flakes off. But uh, what I like to do is actually take the horsehair brush and give it a buff. Now, this same phenomenon happens on Horween's Chrome XL as well, but let's buff this. Look at that, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, what's happening is the wax sort of comes out through the pores, that's why they populate in these dot, uh, they manifest in these dot patterns, I believe. I believe that's why it comes up like, why it shows up like that. It's because I think it's coming out of the pores. I could be wrong. Nice little scratch here. I think, I'm not sure how that happened, but I keep it in my pocket, in my back pocket, probably sat on it. But what's cool here is you can see the indigo crocking here from denim. And uh, this is just patinaed wildly, so. Pretty much good as new. You can still see some. All right. So there you go. Looks good. Got some on the inside too, even on this Horween stamp. It's kind of crazy. Nuts. All right, there you can see the color of it a little better. This amaretto. Whereas on the outside, it has darkened up quite a bit. And so here's a good example of what happens. This brown chrome XL might not be as apparent, but it also has bloom going on. And uh, so these are my Dale's Lolly Works brown chrome XL double horse front kilties available on my website. And I always buff them up before sending them out. So there's before, that's what after looks like. It's just got sort of a little bit of a waxy, waxiness to it as compared to afterwards. It's got such a rich, vibrant, illustrious look about it. Whereas this kind of looks just kind of dull. If you haven't worn your brown chrome XL boots in a while, probably do the same thing. And last but not least, here are some black chrome XL kilties that I have on my website. And these have the gnarliest character on them. They're so gnarly, actually, they kind of look like bison almost. But you can see what they look like after buffing them up. So yeah, some, some of these on my site, I'm actually afraid to send out because they're not just, just smooth. You know, some of them are super gnarly. So if you want a super gnarly set, let me know. But yeah, you see this one? That's not a cut, that's not a scratch. That is in fact a wrinkle. And then you see all this crazy marbling. So if you have a request for some crazy gnarly kilties in black chrome XL, let me know. Cause typically when I send them out, I send out smooth chrome XL, but these are super, like this one's mostly smooth. This one's smooth. See the bloom there. But a lot of them are like this super crazy gnarly texture. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video. And uh, real quick, so my friend Jen actually sent me this incredible Ashland leather wallet as a down payment for the recent bag that I made for her. And this is in black marbled shell cordovan.
And I won't lie, my original Tony the Ant that I got in marble black shell, I wasn't, you know, each one's unique. I really wanted this crazy marbling, but that one didn't really have it. So I'm really happy with this one. Jen sent me pictures of it and I'm like, whoa, that one is insane. It's just got the best, best marbling. Lots of really high, richly pigmented areas and then low pigmented areas. And this scratching takes place just from the folds of the wallet rubbing against each other. But you can see here, it's just brilliant. See all the follicle marks, the dots, these dots are follicle marks. I really love seeing like these tans, oranges come out and the greens. There is a lot of green in black shell. Let me tell you, look at all the green. It's, that was the really um, eye-opening thing to me seeing black shells, it's like you're seeing a half or even a 10% dyed leather. And all the green that's in it really tells you that they incorporate a lot of green into black shell cordovan. So, and this is my favorite model from Ashland. This is called the Tony the Ant. My my other one in black, in black marble shell cordovan is called a Frank the Enforcer. That's the miniature version. But I really like this Tony the Ant. I know everybody loves the fat Herbie, but I love this Tony the Ant. So versatile. I love this little slit here. Yeah. And of course, that genuine Horween shell cordovan stamp there. All right, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial explanation of what shell bloom is. And let me know your experiences with shell bloom. What do you do? Do you flake it off or do you rub it back in? Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.